So we're in this patient's shoulder. It's a right shoulder, 47-year-old lady. Here's the glenohumeral joint, so humeral head above us, glenoid below. Looking down, that's the inferior glenohumeral ligament. I'm going to flip our eyes around. Coming up the, there you can see the inferior labrum all the way around the back at the posterior labrum. And then I've got my probe in here through the rotator interval. Above us is the long head of biceps tendon. And here is her problem. So this is a superior labral tear, which you can see pretty clearly here, involving this bicipital labral anchor complex along the superior glenoid rim. So this is a slap tear, superior labrum, anterior to posterior, involving this attachment here of the long head of biceps tendon onto the superior labrum in the shoulder. If we look up, here you can see an intact rotator cuff coming across the top of the glenohumeral joint and attaching to the humeral head. And then if we move our scope through the front of the shoulder here, that is the subscapularis tendon that you can see right here. So that's subscapularis, and this is the rotator interval through here, sort of below the long head of biceps and subscap. Um, so this is a slap tear in a 47-year-old. We're going to do a biceps tenodesis. So first step here, we've come in with our arthroscopic scissors through the rotator interval. First step in managing this problem is a biceps tenotomy. Uh, and this is just truncating, cutting the long head of biceps tendon to release it. And you can see it's released. And then we're going to reattach it a little bit later on in the case. But there you can have a pretty good look at this slap tear, superior labral tear of the shoulder. And this is our radio frequency ablator, just abriding back these unstable edges here of tissue, just to clean it up a little bit. That's a final look at the labrum there. Uh, I was just to bride it back, and that looks pretty good.